Alrighty, so let's just get started. I'm going to go ahead and put Vanish as the transition color. Again, all my brushes are just Jessup Ivory brushes, but I'm just doing the back and forth motion, making sure that it's blended out. Um, this is just going to be the transitioning color. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put Wrath in the outer corner with a blending brush. Again, I'm just going to go up make sure it goes into the outer corner and into that crease. This is going to be the focal point of our eyeshadow look, I guess. So, you know, again, just blending back, back and forth, back and forth. Um, windshield wiper motion, that's the key. I'm going to go ahead and go back with Vanish um, and then just put it on the top portion of my crease to make sure that that um, color didn't blend off. Next, I'm going to go ahead with this eyeshadow, I believe it's in Telepathy, and then I'm just going to put that in around half of my eyelid, or three-fourths of my eyelid, better yet, and then I'm just going to go ahead and blend it with my finger, I feel like with these glittery colors, it's more helpful. Again, with a blending brush, a thinner blending brush, I believe this is a Sigma one, I'm going to go ahead and do circular motions with the shadow box eyeshadow, I'm putting that in the outer lid portion of my eye to make sure it adds more dimension. Again, going with Wrath, um, putting that again in the crease, making sure that that was blended enough. And, you know, just cleaning up everything. Now I'm going to go ahead with the Lorac Pro Pen in the color, I think it's just the color black. And I'm just going to make sure I do like a, a thin winged eyeliner to make sure that this look goes good um, according to the wing you know like it's a basic look but it's also um, you know the wing that I learned that that gives it the focal point so again I was just you know letting you guys know that this is so thin and so time consuming but I went ahead and added telepathy in the inner corner to add a focal point there um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the eyeliner perversion um, and yeah that's the color <laughs> And it's a little bit dry, so you're going to see my eyes kind of not taking it a bit. It's really, really drying. Um, so I'm just, you know, going back and forth until I get the desired color. Or even if I don't, I'm probably just going to not care. Going back with Wrath, I'm just going to put that underneath my eye. I want to smoke out my bottom eye, lash line. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the shadow box and put it on the outer one-third of my eye to make it a little bit more smoky. Again, just going back and forth between those two colors, making sure they're blended out. Um, and then just windshield wiper motions. Getting Wrath again, just again marrying the two colors and then towards the end of the smokiness, I go ahead and add telepathy into the inner one-third of my eye to make that eye pop. Next, I'm gonna go with the NYX HD Concealer in 06, I believe, and that's, this is just a Salmony color. I have ridiculously, ridiculously dark under circles, so. And before I finish my concealer, I remembered I forgot to prime my face. So I use the Argan Oil, the yeah, the Primer Argan Wear Argan Oil with Coconut Water from Physician's Formula. This thing is really, really good. So again, I just finished my concealer. I'm oh, sorry, sorry it was too quick, but yeah, that's what I did. And then I'm just going ahead with the Real Benefits Lash Mascara. And I went ahead and added some more concealer on there. And I'm getting the Milani Conceal Imperfect 2-in-1 in light beige. And this is just um, a really, really good foundation. It's one of my favorite drugstores at the moment. Going to the, sh the shade and light from the Kat Von D palette, I'm getting that lighter shade. I don't know what it's called, um, but yeah. And I'm just using the e.l.f. contour brush and then just contouring my face. You know, the usual um, jawline, nose, cheeks, etc., etc. And then just blending it out with a fluffy brush from Jessa, eBay. Um, I believe these are like 15 for 13 dollars or something like that of really good quality brushes that's you know again this is the middle color so i use the lighter color to the ashy color to contour and then i use the warmer tone to bronze which was the middle color 
Next, I'm grabbing Tarte in color Royal. Um, you know, just to give a little bit more color to my cheeks. I normally never wore blush, but all of a sudden I've been really into blush. This is the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter. Um, and then I'm just putting that, you know, usual Cupid's bow, you know, nose, high cheekbones, um, etc. And I usually start at the temple and bring it down to make it look a little bit more natural. I know that's ridiculous. You know, it's a highlighter, but it, it, it tends to make it look a little bit more natural and diffused. So that's another good tip out there for you. Next, I'm going to go with my lips. Um, I'm using the color Aquarius. I know I use this a lot as a lippy pencil, but it's a really, really beautiful nude color. And it just goes good with a lot of variety of nudes. You know, it looks good with, you know, pink nudes, brown nudes, and it's just a really natural looking color on me. So I'm just lining the inside of my lips. Um, I don't usually overdraw. I mean, if I put lipstick on and they overdraw on their own, then that's fine. I don't really change it. But as far as the lip liner goes, no, I don't do it. So it's in color Aquarius in case I haven't stated it before. So this is the lipstick, the Tarte lipstick in color Honey. Um, and then I'm just, you know, putting that all over my lips making sure nothing's really, you know, noticeable there. Thank you guys so much for watching that. I do apologize for the lighting. I did change it up a bit right now. Um, it is raining outside, so that's why it's kind of too light in the in the makeup tutorial i do apologize um, i did use the kat von d monarch eyeshadow palette uh, i had this in, since like three months ago but i barely decided to do a tutorial on it because um i didn't use it at all at all so i just needed to go ahead and get my hands on that thank you guys so much for watching um and if you liked the video then just give it a thumbs up and then subscribe that way you'll be able to see every time I make a new video it's going to be every Tuesday and Thursday um, sometimes I'm gonna upload more than two two times a week so you can stay tuned for that and um, anyway yeah thank you guys for all your support and I'll see you guys next time bye